How's everyone doing? Got my computer up uh, and running, got the video running. We're here today doing a workshop with a local facility. The facility is behind me, if you can see the logo, Iron Core Fitness. They are a boot camp program and they invited me here to do a workshop on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. I'm gonna talk about a couple things before I introduce myself, or I'm gonna introduce myself and then talk about a couple things. The uh, premise of today's workshop is um, to teach you a little bit about chiropractic and also a little bit about how chiropractic and fitness kind of go together and to prevent some of the common injuries that we were talking about or I was talking about with the owner of the gym here that you guys experience. Uh, first off, my name is Dr. Larry Calloway. I am a chiropractor just up the street at HealthSpring Chiropractic. Um, also on Facebook, we're HealthSpring Chiropractic, and then I have my own page called Chiron Chiropractic that I've been carrying around with me for eight to ten years now. If at any point during the talk you have a question, go ahead and let me know. Uh, so I started my career as an athletic trainer. Actually, I started it um, as a lifeguard, I guess, if we're talking about first time I was CPR certified or something. I was an athletic trainer. I worked as a physical therapy uh, assistant and got my certified strength and conditioning specialist and then went to chiropractic school. And during chiropractic school, I did some personal training um, with high school athletes, college athletes, and then a lot of weekend warriors, a lot of golfers. And then during chiropractic school, I learned that in order for your body to function at its highest possibility, the nervous system, which is your brain and your spinal cord, has to be able to communicate fully with itself um, or else recovery is slower, uh, your speed slower, your balance or proprioception can be off. So uh, that was a pretty cool thing to learn that if your body um, is connected even better, you can get better and better, better results. If you think of about a couple years, now it's even 10 years ago now, Michael Phelps won, what, like six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 uh, gold medals or something and won Olympics. And one of the races he won by just a little bit, and I'd like to consider that maybe a chiropractic win, whether it was or not. The difference between a gold medal and your name not being known um, was uh, very a split second. And so if your brain is communicating with your body better, then you have the better ability to perform at a higher level. So that's kind of where I went with chiropractic is uh, human health performance. I use a particular form of chiropractic that we'll talk about that really helps brain body balance um, and overall global posture health. And um, so what is the goal of being fit and I come up to closer to the camera so I tried to multitask um, with you. I should have you push the buttons for me. That's okay. You're listening and being attentive. Keep taking notes. Um, so what is the goal of fitness? What is the goal of coming to a place like this once a week, twice a week, five times a week? Oftentimes, yeah, weight loss. Exactly. So a lot of people want to lose weight, but what's the point of losing weight? What does that do for our bodies? You're nodding your head? Well, yeah. <laughs> when our bodies have less weight, it puts less stress on the spine, less stress on all of our joints, but it also takes less stress off the internal organs as well. So, and you'll see less cardiovascular disease, less diabetes, and all that sort of thing. So fitness is huge. Nutrition is huge as well. And again, in my world, I think chiropractic is huge to get the brain to be able to talk to the body better so you can perform at a higher level while you're becoming more fit, while you're losing weight, while you're maintaining a healthy weight. It's not just about losing weight. It's about getting to a weight that you feel good at, that your body's functioning better at, that you feel like is sustainable and then maintaining that weight and getting stronger in that position. You may even gain weight as you get stronger, uh, but the goal is to get your body as healthy as possible. Um, my own personal goals this year are, so you know where I'm looking at, is to get my message out as many places as possible. So if you know a place that may need a message about health or wellness, nutrition, chiropractic, nervous system, ergonomics. We're always doing talks like that around this area. 
Um, and then also on social media, again, we're using Cairo and Chiropractic as that platform um, and my own personal page as well. A little bit on Instagram, but mostly on Facebook. Uh, so that's kind of that. The picture that you see in your handout now is what I talk about to my patients all day long. I talk about their posture. Oftentimes when people think about posture, they think of their grandma or their mother telling them to stand up straight. Now if you had to stand up like this or sit like this all day long, your body would probably fatigue. Being standing up straight or sitting up straight all day long is very taxing on the body, especially if you're not able to hold those postural muscles. So a lot of the work you do here, strengthening the back, strengthening the core, helps you stand up stronger. But we don't sit all day long, we shouldn't sit all day, and we don't stand in one position all day long. So our body also has to be posturally balanced and dynamic in all different ranges of motion. So if you see someone with their head like this, yet they're standing straight up, do you think their body's gonna be as healthy as possible? Or what if their shoulder's like this and they're standing up perfectly straight? Yes, if I stand to the side, it looks like I'm standing great, but once I turn front, there's a little bit of posture and changes, and you can see that there's stress in my trap, in my low back, in my abs. So just a shoulder being off balance can influence or possibly increase your chance of being injury, and definitely will slow recovery if you're being in, if you're already injured. Um, so that's one that's one example of posture. Same thing. If my head's tilted and I shoulders coming up and then I'm doing like a bicep curl, you want to have perfect form, right? So it looks like I'm doing great form, but in actuality, I have different tension throughout my body and can cause strain and stress. And when you're causing strain and stress on your musculoskeletal system with every movement that you make, you're putting strain and stress on your nervous system. And again, your nervous system is super important because it controls everything. If your brain isn't talking to your body, then your body doesn't really have a chance of thriving at all. There's people that are paralyzed, but they still are, uh, have the ability to use their brain. Um, there, I guess there are some people out there that don't have anything between their ears, but everyone has a head on their shoulders. Uh, usually that la gets a better laugh. Didn't set it up right today. My other aspiration is to be a stand-up comedian as well. Uh, not so funny today, I guess. Um, the other thing that you'll see with posture is sometimes people have different hip heights or their body will sway from side to side. So if my body is leaning like this and I go down to do the perfect squat, it's hard to do, my body's like this and I don't know it and I go down to do the perfect squat, I'm putting added stress on the ligaments and tendons in my hips, my low back, even my shoulders and neck to do that squat. Even if from the side, it looks like I'm doing perfect posture. I have this tilt, it's adding stress throughout the body and the muscles be can become injured, the ligaments become injured and ultimately it adds stress to the nervous system because your body needs to be able to communicate fully. Um, also with posture, we talk about uh, little finite movements, ones that you may not even see. I look at seven or eight different things at every single visit with my patients. I look at head tilt, I look at neck deviation, I look at shoulder tilt, I look at body deviation, I look at hip tilt, I look at rotation in the upper back and rotation in the hips. All those things guide me on how to best help a patient create their uh, optimal health. So again, if my shoulders are going this way and my hips are going that way, if I'm trying to do a burpee in this position and not knowing my body's doing that, it adds extra strain to my system. It can increase chance of being injured. Um, so we're here, we're twisted, we go down, you can injure a shoulder. And that's my understanding that oftentimes when you're fatiguing your system in this manner, this hard, tough boot camp, 30 minutes, you can, where they're seeing a little bit of shoulder injuries sometimes, um, and then uh, maybe a little bit of hip injuries, some elbow injuries, and then it might uh, decrease your optimal performance, getting you to that ultimate goal of weight loss and sustaining a weight that you feel good at. So those seven different things can affect the entire musculoskeletal system, nervous system, and put strain on the entire system. So interesting study real quick before I move on. There are studies going on right now, I think they started about 2005, where they're looking at trauma to this upper neck area. 
and they were saying that people, uh, they did a study, I think it was about 81 people had trauma to this area. In this study, all 81 of those people had a neurological uh, disease called multiple sclerosis. What they're showing in 2008, 2011, there's studies that are coming out that are showing uh, flow between the brain and the body with something called cerebral spinal fluid, and they're showing that was getting strangled or stagnated in cerebral spinal fluid. If it's not flowing properly, it can wreak havoc on the system. So if you have a trauma to this area, there can cause stagnation. Then they're showing people with stagnation in that area have severe neurological compromise. And then when that area is restored, moves better, biomechanically is moving better, the flow of the cerebral spinal, spinal fluid improved. Welcome, join us. Um, the cerebral spinal fluid improved uh, and the body began to take care of itself and they saw some pretty cool objective and subjective measures in these patients. So that's someone that's severely neurologically compromised. What if it's just a little bit of an injury, a little bit of movement error? We can see it holding back someone from their optimal human potential. And in this type of facility, when you're working out, you want the best results you can get in the time you're committed to doing it without the chance of injury or decreasing your chance of injury. And if you get injured, you want to get back as quickly as possible to get to that sustainable model. Does that make sense? Good. Any questions up to this point? So when I'm talking about posture, I'm not just talking about what grandma said, right? Or grandpa or whoever told you to stand up straight or sit up straight. I'm talking about different finite movements that can affect your entire system and decrease optimal performance. Another thing that can decrease optimal performance is I don't have a clicker. I should have brought one. That was, that's a good idea. I'll put that in my backpack for next time. Uh, the next picture is a pretty cool thing. I wish I could see this in real life. A picture of the, the stones being balanced. Uh, oftentimes when we think about balance, we think of maybe tripping over our feet or maybe a golfer is trying to stay balanced, uh, things of that nature. But balance doesn't just have to be on your feet. You can have body balance where you have weight shifting from side to side. You can even have balance in closing your eyes and touching your nose. Some people are imbalanced in how they do that. And that's the brain not fully communicating with your body. This is a concept called proprioception in this manner. If your brain doesn't know where your joints are, you have a greater chance of being injured. So what we do is restore that information from the brain to the body, the body back to the brain, and you have better balance going on. Um, and we call it this proprioception that I just talked about. Has anyone heard of that conversation or taught that topic, proprioception? It's been around forever. It's a type of nerve. Uh, it's really very important for health. The other type of balance that we talk about in my office, I alluded to it a second ago, is when I'm standing up looking at my body, ideally the weight should be balanced from side to side. Maybe there's uh, 0.3 pounds, 0.5 pounds from side to side based on how my body's fatigued, but oftentimes people will come into my office and have 5, 10, 15, 20, the most I've ever seen was 170 more pounds on one side of the body than the other. Think about that, just at 5 pounds, if I'm doing a squat, there's 5 more pounds on this side causing more and more stress to that side, potentially increasing your chance for an injury. Or again, if I'm doing a burpee, drop down, do a push up, my body's used to having five more pounds on that side, 10 more pounds, it can cause stress to the entire system and cause injury to some sort of joint. Uh, so what we want to do in our, what we do in our office is we help people get their body balanced. Do you have a question? No, just taking notes, okay. So a lot of times people say, well, how do I fix that? If my head is here, shoulders here, can't I just look in a mirror? and balance myself out? Well, you can, but if you have to think about having your head perfectly straight, shoulders perfectly straight, body perfectly straight, every single repetition, you're either gonna take a really long time for that workout, or eventually something's going to give. Some sort of muscular, uh, some sort of muscular imbalance will cause your body to twist, or if your body's used to twisting and you're forcing it the other way, now those muscles actually are working harder to hold you in that position. So what we do is we help your body get there naturally or with chiropractic. We help your body get that body balance 
so your brain doesn't have to consciously get you in a new position, contracting your muscles and creating muscular imbalance. Um, one study that uh, I actually did in 2010, I, I showed it at the World Golf Fitness Summit in Orlando, Florida, was a group of golfers, when they stood up with one leg and then closed their eyes, they were balancing for about two to three seconds before their body started to sway. Professional athletes, Tiger Woods, those sort of golfers, when they close their eyes, they stand there, they can be there up on one leg with their eyes closed for somewhere like 16 or 18 seconds. This group, after six weeks of care, getting their um, biomechanics right, getting their posture right, getting that cerebral spinal fluid flow right, their body was able to go from three seconds to eight to 12 seconds. So just that little bit could improve their golf game because they were able to sustain better balance throughout their entire swing, which was what their goal was which was really, really cool to see that. And it was cool to go to Orlando and have a hotel room paid presenting uh, my own research. Um, questions up till now? Cool, one more slide I think, maybe two. Uh, okay, so we talked a little bit about this throughout this show, shoulders injuries, hip injuries, knee injuries, neck injuries, things of that nature. Oftentimes you'll see, you can see a huge trauma, car accident, someone breaking an arm by falling off a ladder, but most of the time it's uh, slow or micro traumas, things that have occurred over and over and over and over again. So it's very important to get your body balanced as much as possible throughout the day period to, be, to work at your optimal level of performance, whether it's at the workplace, family, whatever you're running, working out. So you want to get your nervous system functioning better and they're increasing your chance for better human potential and functioning at a higher level. Um, so those are some graphics that I pulled off that are, uh, I think, kind of fun. And uh, the last slide, again, my name is uh, Dr. Larry Calloway. I, um, I'm just up the street at Health Spring Chiropractic. Our website is there, phone number is there if you have any questions. And uh, if you don't have any questions, then we'll call it a day. Thank you so much for attending. Short, little, I don't even know how long it was, 15, 20 minutes. Um, we're gonna be doing this probably every other, or sorry, not every other month, maybe once a month, uh, maybe once every six weeks as the challenges get going. Um, and of course, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. We are happy to answer questions. And uh, feel free to connect with us on uh, social media. We'd love for you to check out the more videos. Have an awesome day and enjoy the sunshine while it's out. Thank you.